Jay Wise, what do you think of landlords? This is what he's supposed to say, who only let out to tenants of certain ethnicities. Listen, I understand that. I understand that. I even had this issue before. I had some um hmm. How do we say these things without getting fucking thrown off of TikTok or banned for racism or whatever bullshit? Man. Um, right. I'm a black man. Yeah, my skin is not black. Okay. But um, there's a next set of people walking around who are very similar skin color to me, but they're not black. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to put on no funny accents to take the piss or anything. So, you know. Yeah, be honest, what I'm trying to say. I'm a black man. I'm a brown man. There's other people who are very similar skin color to me, but they're not black. Yeah, okay. And they're not from Africa. They're from a different continent, beginning with A. It's a four letter word A S I A. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, anyway, I had some uni students staying at my property, and um, I had to go down there and yeah, they just filthied out the place. The place was crisp. If you've not seen my videos where me showing my house and whatever and that, even that video where the police came to my front door, like people were saying, yo, man, that's the cleanest carpet I've seen. Like, why is your tile so shiny? I didn't plan that video. I didn't clean my house quickly and then turn on the camera. Now, that's my house is always clean. When my house is dirty, my house is clean. Yeah, like that. Anyway. That flat there that them youths with the uni students were staying in, I renovated it from scratch. The place was crisp. Yeah, you open up the door, you just feel the freshness and that. When they after two weeks, it was like they been, it was like they were living there for three years. It was so dirty. So anyway, I got on to them and that, and I said to them, listen, you don't need to be careful. With people that look like me, we have a reputation of being gang members, breeding up the place being waste men, not working, selling drugs. You people have come from another country. You lot be careful because if you lot have left this property in a certain state, stank in there, yeah, okay, you lot could ruin it, ruin the reputation for people that also look like you. Because listen, this is business. I ain't got time to be Oh, like, oh, well, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, nah, fuck that bullshit. All right, let me give you another example. People do not like letting Irish traveler people into their establishments. I used to, I watched this program one years ago, my big fat gypsy wedding, or some bullshit like that. And some woman, she's white English, she used to uh, have a few halls that, like, you know, banqueting suites or halls that she used to run. And she said, as soon as the phone rings and she answers the phone and she hears it's like an Irish traveler accent, she put the phone down. Because those people there are known for getting drunk, fighting and smashing up the place. It's a 50-50 chance. Why the fuck are you going to hire out your hall to a set of people where there's a 50-50 chance they're going to drink too much and then fight and smash up the place? Fuck them. You're just going to fuck it. I ain't going to deal with them. What? I'm not going to deal with them. So... Yeah, if you can try and, you know, I'm trying to say, make sense of what I was saying without saying, you, you can't say nothing on this fucking app. You can't say nothing on TikTok. Them man there on YouTube, like YouTube's man, like, let's say like fresh and fit and that, they're like, oh, you know, we've got to be careful what we're saying because we're on YouTube and that. Blood, you can say what the fuck you want on YouTube. Boy, step out of line, boy. They'll ban your ass clout on TikTok, boy. Well, I've got to be careful out here because a ban is coming. I'm going to get banned on TikTok soon. You watch. You watch. So I understand, like, when they don't want to let certain ethnicities of people rent or whatever and that. Eh. Eh. Listen, I've asked trades people in this Northampton area, like, ah, oh, are you available to do any work? Like, nah, chock a block, mate, busy. They're not fucking busy. They are afraid that they're going to do work for me and I'm not going to pay them because of the color of my skin. And I get it. I get it. Listen, I've dealt with <laughs> African people are the worst as well, you know. You will tell an African person it's 60 pounds to connect up an electric cooker. Okay? So African person's bought a brand new cooker and they'll say, How much is it to connect it up? 
you tell them 60 pounds. They say, okay, cool, come around Thursday. Today is Monday, yeah? Go around there on Thursday. You connect up the cooker, it works perfectly. Then they will say, can I give you 45? No, I told you it was 60 pounds already. Don't disrespect me by trying to lower the price. You should have tried to negotiate and haggle me beforehand. Don't make me come and do the job when we agreed 60 pound days in advance. And then when it comes time to pay, you're trying to give me 45 fucking pounds. You're taking a piss. So yeah, I understand. Certain people don't want to do business with certain other people. That's tough. Those people there should find people in their own race and ethnicity that were willing to do the jobs for them.